5 Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Now, there's no chance here in New England of getting a direct hit by Nate or anything like that, but we could be getting some of the leftovers from Tropical Storm Nate by the end of the weekend. So we're going to start off talking about Nate right now. These showers near New Orleans, that's actually not from Nate. You can see where Nate is swirling towards the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico. And the forecast from the National Hurricane Center does intensify Nate into a hurricane before making landfall somewhere here along the Gulf Coast. Right now, winds of 60 miles an hour. There's still a lot of wiggle room in where the storm could go. We often talk about the cone of uncertainty as the potential path of the storm, but I would say at this point it's wider than that. Really, anywhere from uh, far western Louisiana into the Florida panhandle would be fair game for the chance of a landfalling tropical storm or a hurricane. At this point, we do know it's going to the Gulf Coast. It's just a matter of exactly where and how strong. Now, here's how it will affect our weather likely by the end of the weekend. Here's a computer model forecast of Nate. There's the rain, some heavy rain headed towards the Gulf Coast. Watch what happens Sunday into Monday. Notice how the storm kind of falls apart, but the moisture is still there. So by Monday, that gets scooped up and will likely give us some periods of heavy rain Monday into Tuesday. So if you have plans for Columbus Day, yes, I would plan on some rain there and of course we'll update you on that Columbus Day forecast throughout the weekend. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar showing a few showers trying to sneak in here from the northwest. There's a slight chance that we get clipped by one of these over the next uh, couple of hours. That would be about it. I think most of us actually miss out on those showers. Newport kind of a nice evening with some clouds around. Narragansett people still enjoying things here at the beach despite it being October. Some pretty pleasant October temperatures though, 73 right now in Providence, 71 Newport and 74 in Westerly. You can see this front is draped to our south and this front will actually advance back up to the north tomorrow. Here's what that's going to do. It's going to scoop up all this moisture. These are actually dew points. When you have dew points in the mid 60s, that's where things get a bit stickier. So that front drags back the humidity through our region tomorrow afternoon and especially into Sunday. So we're not quite done with the humidity just yet, even though it is uh, heading into the middle of October. 60 for a low temperature overnight, mild, fairly comfortable. And then for tomorrow, it's going to be a slow start. So we get the humidity, a lot of fog around in the morning, and I think fairly cloudy through at least around lunchtime into the afternoon, likely some breaks in the clouds. So 77 should be our high temperature in Providence. The general trend will keep uh, the inland spots a little bit warmer than the coast, which I'll show you in just a second. I do want to show you Sunday. The chance of a brief sprinkle or a shower, that would be pretty much it. Do not plan on a rainy day for Sunday, but certainly the chance of a quick hit or miss shower. And then backtracking to Saturday for just a second. Tomorrow, notice how we're a little cooler at the coast with some of the fog and those winds coming in out of the south. So the beaches, the south coast, likely upper 60s to low 70s, while places like Smithfield, Cumberland, Providence, into the upper 70s with a bit more in terms of the breaks of sunshine. So I did want to talk about the uh, Federal Hill Parade, the Columbus State Parade uh, in Federal Hill. Mike, Caroline, they're sitting over there. They will also be here Sunday at this parade. A chance of a brief shower. Again, stay tuned. We're not planning on a washout or anything like that, but we just did want to let you know at least the threat will be there of a sprinkle or two. Then on Monday, that would be the rainier of the uh, two days between Sunday and Monday. Temperatures low 70s and we could see the possibility of some localized street flooding Monday into Tuesday as we deal with the leftovers from Nape. Obviously when we're this many days away a lot could change so we will continue to monitor that part of the future cast and uh, looking pretty good. Again, just a slight chance of a shower for you who will be at the parade. No, 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 no. You got to get rid of that. We're going to give you some homework. I know. I will try to work on the adjustments because uh, I'm going to work on it for you. Very Yeah, well. we All know right. you can do it, Pete. I can do it. All right, All right. thanks. Still ahead on Eyewitness News Live at 5.